Hey there, aspiring hackers. Ever wanted to feel like you're in one of those spy movies gaining access to secret systems with just a few clicks? Well, today's your lucky day because we're diving into the world of penetration testing. And don't worry, we're doing it the ethical way. No Hollywood drama, just you, me, and some seriously cool hacking skills. In this video, we will explore how to gain user and even pseudo-user privileges on a target computer or server. I mean, what's hacking without some admin power, right? We'll be doing all of this on a server specifically designed for this kind of fun. Frizz Leaks 1.3. You know, the one with the juicy vulnerabilities just waiting to be found. Or maybe I'll keep that as a surprise. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to mastering ethical hacking and impressing your friends with your newfound ninja skills. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So don't try this on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Let's get started. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Before we get into the hands-on part, let's take a moment to understand why I've chosen Fristy Leaks 1.3 as our target and what you'll gain from hacking it. This server is specifically designed for penetration testers like us to practice safely. So don't worry, no real damage here. This is all ethical and legal. Fristy Leaks 1.3 is packed with common vulnerabilities that can exist in real-world environments. By attacking this server, you'll not only learn how to gain access to a machine, but also understand the types of security issues that companies face every day. We're talking about things like weak configurations, easily exploitable services, and poorly managed user privileges. These are exactly the types of vulnerabilities you'll encounter if you're pursuing a career in ethical hacking or cybersecurity. By penetrating this server, you can gain a solid foundation for future penetration testing challenges, whether you're working on capture the flag exercises, real world servers, or honing your hacking skills for professional certifications. Let's start by downloading this Frist Leaks 1.3 server by searching for the Frist Leaks 1.3 server on Chrome or your favorite browser. Then open the first link provided by volnhub.com. Once opened, you'll see some details related to the release of Fristy Leaks 1.3 and then download its .ova file under the download heading. This file is a pre-built image of the vulnerable server that we'll be using. Once it's downloaded, create a separate machine for it in VirtualBox, just like we create virtual machines for multiple Linux distributions or operating systems. After creation, start both Kali Linux and Fristy Leaks 1.3 server virtual machines as shown on the screen. After running the Fristy Leaks server, the server appears like this. You have to copy the IP address from this server and open Firefox or any browser. Once opened, place the copied IP address on the search bar and hit enter to confirm that our targeted server is ready and running successfully. Now open a new Firefox window and search for directory list lowercase 2.3. This file helps us crack the targeted server or computer passwords. From the outcome, open the first GitHub link. Once opened, download the GitHub file by selecting the download icon. After the completion of the download, the file can be seen inside the downloads file as you can see on the screen. Next, open a new terminal and traverse into the downloads folder using cd downloads command and recheck the downloaded directory list lowercase 2.3 file. Next, execute the gobuster dir-u192.168.6.111-w directory list lowercase 2.3 medium.txt command. You'll have to insert your targeted server or machine IP address instead of mine server 192.168.6.111. This gobuster command brute forces all the directories in the targeted server. As you can see, the folders of our targeted server are retrieved by our command. Now, let's pick the images folder first and check what it contains by adding images next to the IP address in the Firefox search bar. Here you can see, we have two images, so now let's see what both of these images contain. Well, we didn't get any weak points in the images folder, so now let's head towards the Freesty folder. As you can see by entering, we have found our server admin portal 
Now let's try to find the admin username and portal to gain access. In order to find, let's first open this web page backend using the inspect tool. Here, you can see that we have found the admin username EZFZ in the comments. Moreover, we have found some base64 code. Let's decode it as it may be our password. For this purpose, base64 encode and decode site or any other if you want, and place the coded part that we have found while inspecting the admin portal. While decoding, we have found that it is some PNG file and image. So now search for base64 to image and open the first link from the results. Here copy the same base code and you'll get our decoded image that contains some characters which can be our password. Finally, place the retrieved username and password in the admin portal and hope that we get it this time. There you go. We successfully log in, and now we can upload our images onto the targeted server, or we can download the images from this Fristaleaks server. To get root privileges, start by downloading the reverse shell by searching for the PHP reverse shell download. From the results, open the first link and open the GitHub PHP reverse shell.php file. After opening, download this PHP script file and locate it inside the downloads folder. Here, Open this file inside any text editor just like I am opening it inside the mousepad editor. Scroll at the bottom of this file until you find the IP field. Here, you have to paste your Kaylee's system IP address. Now, execute the IPA command to get the IP address of your Kaylee system. Once found, assign it as a value for the IP field. Next, make your Kaylee listen on the provided port number which is 1234, and for this run the nc-nvlp1234 command. Once it gets listening, traverses again to your server, select the upload button and provide the path of your PHP reverse shell file. As you can see, a type error appears, showing you can upload only images having specific extensions. To resolve it, head towards your file and rename by right. Clicking on our PHP file, add an extension of PNG to make it appear like an image. After renaming, upload the PHP reverse PNG file onto the server to perform the reverse engineering. And as you can see, our file is uploaded successfully. After uploading, browse to the Uploads folder by adding Uploads next to the old web address, and as you can see the server has responded with the page saying, No. Now, copy the whole PHP reverse file name and search this file inside the Uploads folder to make it active. Now, move back to the command prompt where the server is being listened to, and here execute the unaim-a command to see the version of the kernel our targeted server is using. Once the kernel version is found, head to the Firefox and search for the Ubuntu 2.6 exploit database and open the first link that includes the keyword of dirty cow. From the opened web page, download the exploit file. It appears like this once downloaded. Now open a new terminal, run the cd downloads command. Once executed, execute the python3-mhttp.server command to open a HTTP server. Now, open a new command prompt tab, then execute the IPA command to retrieve the Kali machine IP address and execute the cd downloads command to retrieve the name of the downloaded exploit database file. Once you get both of these, return the tab where the server is listening and execute the wget command followed by the machine IP address with the port number of 8000 along with the exploit database file. As you see, our attack fails due to restricted permission. It looks like the file is not where it should be, so utilize the pwd and cd commands to get the current address of the directory and to move this file from the home folder to the tmp folder. Once done, re-execute the same command of wget machine ip address with the port of 8000 along with the exploit database file name, and this time our file gets downloaded inside the server. And now, when you run the ls command, you should see our exploit database file inside the server. Without losing time, open the exploit database file in the cat or any code editor and copy the dirty cow exploit database compile command as shown on the terminal. Now, clear the terminal and again run the ls command to list the file residing inside the server. 
Next, paste the copied compile command and replace the dirty.c with your exploit file name in the command as shown on the screen. After execution, the new file named dirty gets generated and runs the chmod plus x dirty command to give privileges to the dirty file and traverse into the dirty file to provide a new password. Initially, it'll ask that the password file already exists, so you have to remove this file using the rmpasswd.bak command. After removing, re-enter into the dirty file, and this time it'll ask you to generate a new password for the server. After providing a new password, run the catpassguid.back command to open the passwd.back file in cat editor. This will display all the accounts in the server at the top is the new account we just created with the exploit. Next, try to change the username using the su command. And as you see, an error is returned because to change the user, we have to import pty. For this import, we'll run the python-c import pty semicolon pty.spawn bin bash command. After that, rerun the su command and now you'll see that error is resolved and the server is asking for the user password. After providing the password our user created using exploiting, gets the root privileges power and a success message gets returned by the server. And just like that, we've gained root privileges on the Frist Leaks 1.3 server. Mission accomplished, Hacker Squad! I hope you enjoyed this digital adventure as much as I did, because nothing beats that feeling of unlocking those admin rights, am I right? Now that you've seen how to gain root access on a vulnerable machine, imagine what you can do with these skills. From ethical hacking to cybersecurity jobs, you're on the path to becoming a highly paid pro. If this video sparked your inner hacker, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future hacking tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have any questions, want more challenges, or just want to brag about your own root exploits? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear from you, and until next time, happy hacking! Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.